We talk if red meat is unhealthy. Red meat is something of my favorite, but does that mean I'm gonna be biased in this video? So stick around and you'll figure it out at the end of the video. Let's throw the clock on and let's get started. But if you're new here, consider subscribing. We do every week a health tip, trick and hack video and a Mythbuster video just like this one. As always, these videos have a subject which is red meat, the facts, figures and the research associated with it. And lastly, the long awaited conclusion or the verdict, whether this is a myth or a fact. So with no further ado, let's dive in. What is red meat? Meat comes from various sources processed, raised, organic, uh, cured, etc. But majority of the meat that you and I refer to are focused on meat in the form of animal muscle tissue. That is about 75% of that is gonna be water, 20% of that's gonna be protein, and 5% of it's gonna be fat. And meat comes from a variety of sources of animals, from chicken to crocodile. And depending on certain regions and cultures, the types of animals or parts of animals that are consumed differ. And in certain instances, even the whole animal from brain to tail is consumed. Red meat is red meat versus white meat, which comes from chickens or turkey. So red meat, usually the thing that you and I most associate with would be coming from either cows or buffaloes. I don't think we need to spend more time about explaining what red meat is. So let's get into the facts, research and the opinions associated with whether red meat is unhealthy. Number one, research. Many people consider red meat unhealthy because of the postulated high fat content, which have associations with increase in health conditions from heart diseases to colon cancer. And as a consequence, no meat or low amounts of meat are recommended. And in addition, with a large trend towards a plant-based diet, meat is getting a bad reputation. So is this research well founded? The biggest issue with majority of this research is that correlation doesn't result in causation. This is a problem with majority of the observational studies that most of the media uses to translate and brainwash majority of people's decisions in the food industry. So let's take an example. If we say someone who's eating meat is unhealthy and it has increased rates of heart and health conditions, that person could be eating fast food burgers and his other health habits could be as worse as that. So increased in refined sugars, maybe he is even smoking cigarettes, etc. The problem with the observational studies is that there's no way that you can confine the individual to just eat organic grass-fed meat for the purposes of an experiment. So conclusions with such research should be treated with caution. And these types of research don't consider things such as how the animals are fed, whether it's genetical or whether it's traditional, or whether these animals come into contact with hormones and antibiotics, or whether they are pasteurized. However, none of the research that's established that meat is unhealthy has been able to do this. Number two, nutrient density and bioavailability. The arguments that are made to say that meat is unhealthy ignore one fact. That is the availability of micronutrients and the ease of absorption by the human body through meat-based sources. Essential micronutrients such as iron, selenium, vitamin A, B12 might only occur in very small amounts in plant-based foods or in certain instances not even occur at all. For example, the bioavailability and access to vitamin B12 is increased through animal-based products. I've also discussed this extensively in the Vegan is Healthy video which I've linked in the description below. Vitamin B12 plays a significant part in almost every body function and the lack of it could result from disorders ranging from neurological disorders to cardiovascular disease to infertility. And meat also contains high levels of other vitamin B, such as vitamin B6. And it's been proven that it's more effective to absorb these vitamins through whole food sources versus supplements. Number three, red meat versus white meat. Fats from mammals such as cows or ruminants contain equal parts of saturated and monounsaturated fats and a very small part of polyunsaturated fats. The reason for this is the digestive tract of such animals such as cows are designed to maintain these levels irrespective of the type of food that's been consumed. And massive disclaimer before we go forward, and that does not mean that 
Animals raised under the influence of hormone-fed, genetically modified or antibiotically influenced food is healthy at all. So when you have to make a decision in terms of organic versus not organic, you'd be better off buying red meat versus non-organic white meat. Number four, digestion. This is a thought that when digestion takes long, it's bad for your body. I wonder if that's the case, sugar is the most fastest digesting piece of food that we have access to. So should we just eat sugar all the time? And yes, meat might take a longer time to digest because of its complex breakdown of nutrients, but that does not mean that it is unhealthy. Number five, evolution. If we track back the evolution of humankind for 2.5 million years ago, humans have always been studied to eat a combination of meat and uh, fruits and vegetables. And the meat also includes red meat. This partly aligns with the fact that the way that our digestive system has been aligned. Our largest part of the small intestine is designed in a way to absorb micronutrients from foods such as meat or red meat and starchy vegetables. Number six, health risks. With all this said, does that mean that red meat has no impact on heart disease risk? It depends on the type of meat that you eat. If it is gonna be processed and additive food types that you're gonna get at a fast food chain that you're gonna over consume, yes, there will be an absolute impact due to the trans fats that you're gonna consume through these products. But majority of the recent research, which we've linked down below, have proved that unprocessed red meat does not have any link or correlation to increased amount of heart risk. Number seven, the ethics, marketing, and mass production. The biggest problem in the meat industry is the size and the production rate. If there's 75 burgers produced at every single minute, feeding over 68 million people, that cannot be a sustainable way that meat could be produced in a organic and a traditional fashion. As a result of that, these large food manufacturers try and cut corners. And at the same time, due to the large level of production, it consistently questions the ethics in the farming industry. So with all that said, do you think now we are ready for a conclusion? Is red meat unhealthy? No, but with one caveat. Meat that is sustainably, organically, and traditionally sourced red meat, which is not processed, is not unhealthy. If your sources of meat is processed, fast food, and full of additives, yes, it's unhealthy. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, comment, like, and share, and we'll see you on the next video.